When you go into having a conversation with a narcissist, know that you cannot authentically engage with this person. That means if you go in with good intentions, if your plan is to make the relationship better, if you want to be heard for the sake of being heard, if you want to be truthful, you're not going to get any long lasting results out of it. Narcissists cannot be their authentic self because they don't have an authentic self. On the inside, they are hollow. There's nothing there when you look past the mask that they put on for the rest of society. They don't know who they are. They do not have core values like you and me. And there's nothing below their egos. That's why they are perfectly okay with lying and manipulating everybody around them every single day. If you go into a relationship with honesty, truth, and authenticity, they are going to use that as an opportunity to manipulate the situation and cause drama. They will not hear what you're saying because it does not interest them to fix the relationship. They want to cause chaos. They want to be toxic. They want to get a rise out of you, an emotional response. Because they don't have anything there inside that lets them know, I am worthy of love. So they have to get a stir out of you. They have to see you cry and be the cause of it to then say, okay, I must mean something to this person. And you are crying because you're trying to make it work. You're trying to tell them exactly what you need and they just don't care and you feel helpless. This will never change. When you go into conversations with narcissists, it can only be strategic because they are transactional people. You're not going to get any major personality change out of them. You're not going to get them to understand your feelings. They don't have enough empathy for that. The best that you can hope for if you can't go no contact, like if you have to co-parent with them, is to make simple and straightforward direct requests. Leaving your emotion completely out of it and thinking of yourself like a supervisor at a job or human resources. Don't do this. You need to do this at this time. Don't talk to me like that. Don't call me that name. You need to show up at our kids' band practice Wednesday at 6 p.m. And no matter what they try to say to you to bait you into a giant emotional reaction, you just dodge those like the matrix. This is the only effective way to have a conversation with them.